Madam Vice President, I'm uh, delighted uh, to be able to welcome you to the Philippines on your first visit yes. to our country. Um, after our very, very brief uh, uh, conversation back in, uh, back in Bangkok. Yes. And uh, we have been looking forward to this visit for, for a, a while, and uh, we've been preparing for it. The Vice President has been, uh, uh, has been working hard to make sure that the visit goes well and smoothly. So, but but uh, we are happy uh, that you have arrived. We are. Uh, it's unfortunate that it is such a such a quick visit. Yes. We would have hoped for, to have shown you more of the Philippines. Although, uh, I suppose you you are you actually are doing that because you're seeing some of the prettiest parts of the Philippines in Palawan. Yes. And I'm sure you're just going to the resorts and uh, <laughs> the, and the beaches. So that the, is not the life I've chosen these days. <laughs> So I'm, I'm happy, uh, the, the, we, as you, as, uh, you know, and that has been is really well established for, for very many years. The uh, relationship between our two countries is something that uh, uh, we both, both our countries have really come to depend upon. Yes. And with uh, the uh, more, the upheavals that we are seeing, especially in the, uh, not only in the region, but especially in the region, uh, this, these uh, partnerships become yeah. uh, even more important. Uh, the, the situation is rapidly changing. Uh, we must uh, evolve uh, to be properly responsive uh, to that uh, situation. But, and so that is why uh, it is very important that we continue to, uh, to progress, that we continue to strengthen and we, as we redefine uh, those relationships. So, uh, your visit is a very strong symbol that uh, these relationships remain strong, mm -hmm. and that these remain uh, relationships remain important, mm -hmm. as indeed they do. So, uh, that is uh, uh, the Filipino. I have said many times, I I do not see a future for the Philippines that does not include the United mm -hmm. States, uh, and that really has. Uh, has, uh, that, that really has come from the very long relationship that we have had yeah. with the U.S. and uh, the continuing to str and at which and of course we went through different phases of relationship, mm -hmm. but as uh, in the uh, since the war, uh, it mm -hmm. has just been strengthened in every way yes. in, in the economic sense, uh, in the political sense, mm -hmm. defense, security. I cannot think of an area where we have not uh, mm -hmm. cooperated, collaborated, mm -hmm. and have had good results for both our countries. Thank you, Mr. President. Well, and thank you for the warm welcome. It was good, as you said, to see you in Bangkok and to have uh, a brief time to talk there. But we were very much looking forward to this trip. I bring you greetings from the second gentleman who told me about the great time that he had when he was here for your inauguration. <laughs> And um, so he laid the path for this trip in many oh, ways. But terrific. thank you. Yes, thank yes. you for the welcome. Uh, I have traveled here because of many of the, the points that you have made. The relationship between the Philippines and the United States is a long and enduring one. It is a, one, a relationship that is strong for so many reasons. Uh, it is the, the long-standing relationship in terms of the people-to-people -people ties. Uh, as you and I have discussed, uh, I, I come from California. We have a thriving Filipino-American community mm -hmm. there. And in fact, in the United States, by last count, there are at least four million oh Filipino-Americans. Yeah. <laughs> we're, go we're good Catholics. And, we're, and, and we're very good Catholics, Catholics who celebrate <laughs> Christmas, <laughs> according to you in the Philippines, three months of the year. <laughs> well, it's been it's been said of us wonderful. that we we celebrate Christmas like we own like we invented it. <laughs> we certainly own it now. So we start in September. Well, it is good to be here with you in this season. <laughs> in this season, um, and as you said, the basis of our relationship is multifaceted. Mm -hmm. Our relationship is based on uh, mutual uh, commitment to the economic mm -hmm. prosperity of the region and our respective mm -hmm. nations. And during the conversation that we have today, we will talk more about what that means in terms of the opportunities that are presented 
through our mutual concern about the climate crisis mm -hmm. and what we might do in terms of investments and renewable energy and, and mm -hmm. thinking about clean power and the industries that will come about mm -hmm. because of that commitment and what that will mean in terms of economic prosperity through the creation of jobs, mm -hmm. the creation of industries, and the bilateral relationship we have mm -hmm. to coordinate in that regard. Uh, our relationship is based on uh, mutual concerns about security for the region. We are both proud members of the Indo-Pacific, and um, in particular, as it relates to the Philippines, I will say that we must reiterate always that we stand with you in defense of international rules and norms as it relates to the South China Sea, an armed attack on the Philippines' armed forces, public vessels, or aircraft in the South China Sea would invoke U.S. mutual defense commitments. And that is an unwavering commitment that we have to the Philippines. Uh, when we think about what is happening in this region, we know that there are so many opportunities for us to continue to strengthen our relationship. Uh, but the basis of our relationship is based on mutual commitments to international rules and norms and upholding those international rules and norms in all of the ways that we know allow for, again, prosperity and security for our respective nations and the region. Um, so again, I will reiterate that the alliance between the United States and the Philippines mm -hmm. is a strong one, an enduring one, mm -hmm. and only under your leadership continues to be strengthened. And we look forward to working with you on many of these issues. And I, of course, bring you greetings from President Joe Biden. Well, thank you, thank so you thank Madam you. Vice President. Please do send uh, uh, President Biden my, my warmest uh, regard. Uh, and I thank you uh, for the very strong commitment that you have just made uh, for the U.S. to, uh, to uh, be uh, defensive of the Philippines. And I guess this is the best bit that they don't want to have. <laughs> The very strong, the very strong commitment that you have just uh, that you have just uh, uh, made um, for the United States to be uh, to be by the Philippines and to uh, that any 